Hi, in this station you're going to be using the xylophone and your goal is to define three different words, decibels, amplitude, and frequency. Now to do this you're going to use a couple free apps on your iPad. The apps you're going to use are Spectrum View and Decibel. And what I recommend you do is open up Spectrum View and if it's off in the bottom left corner, make sure you're on Spectrogram, you're going to click that little microphone so that it's going to start listening. And then when you set it down, be very careful that, of course, it doesn't fall off of the xylophone when you have it here. Now you can play some different notes on the xylophone and you're going to see over here on the spectrogram that you're going to have different readouts. Notice over here on the side the y-axis is the frequency and the x-axis is time. And so as you play different notes and you play them uh, with different amounts of intensity, I want you to notice what happens. All right. The other thing that you can do, and you can pause this, is on the spectrum analyzer you again are going to want to turn on the microphone so it starts listening and you can see that it's going to move up and down. This time notice that amplitude is on the Y and that frequency is on the X axis and you're going to watch that again notice what happens when you do that. So that app that you were using was called Spectrum View. The other one that I want you to try is just this real simple decibel um, reader and you're going to open up the, uh, well I guess it's actually called Decibel Tenth, that's the name of it, and you're going to set that aside. There's not anything to change on this one, but you're going to be able to notice what changes with the decibel meter as you play here. Okay, so after you've explored with that, I want you to record an audio boo using the audio boo app that we talked about in class, and I want you to define those three words. The three words are decibel, and amplitude, and frequency, and you can talk about some of the things that you observe when you use those apps when you define those words. Good luck.